Hi everybody, I am Dr. Ashutosh Kumar. I am Clinical Director of Cardiac Electrophysiology working at Care Hospital Hyderabad. And today we will be discussing how EP study is done and what are the risks and benefits. So exactly uh, regarding this EP procedure, a lot of uh, uh, myths are there that it is a surgery. So let us make it simple. It is also a minimally invasive procedure like angiography. So we are conducting a procedure under local anesthesia in which we are going to take three leads or we can say three catheters either from the uh, leg uh, from the femoral region we call as the thigh regions or sometime from the neck and these are the catheters uh, which I have kept on the table. So these catheters will be uh, like whatever the veins we are seeing the same veins are there in the leg so it, it can accommodate it is usually never done in the radial route so angiography can be done through the hands but it is all always and always done through the thigh regions under local anesthesia you will be watching everything what is going on and by these wires means you can say these are uh, three wires having a we can just manipulate inside the heart and these three wires we kept keep in the different different heart location and we take this information we connect these wires with the what you call uh, with the computer system and we grab all the information how the electrical system is working in the heart so heart is having its own electricity and the current will be flowing from a particular location means it is generated in the SA node then it will come into AV node and by the his bundle it will go to the right and left bundle and it will electrifying the lower chamber and the pumping will start so this is a normal electrical activity what we are taking the information but in the selected patient where we have to un, uh, we have to know whether the electricity uh, electrical problem is there or not there this is the basic information we will be uh, gra uh, grabbing then uh, we are taking but after that the second level of uh, investigation start we induce the tachycardia so you may be knowing that whenever we are doing the ap study we will ask the patient to stop the antiarrhythmic like beta blocker or calcium joint, calyptin or diltiazem at least three to five days earlier so that we can bring back the tachycardia or we can bring back the arrhythmia and try to locate from where it is coming. So these uh, whatever called uh, catheters will provide how the electrical activity is happening when the patient is having tachycardia and we are able to focus uh, the location from which it is originating or the circuit which is responsible for uh, this tachycardia or uh, we can say arrhythmia. And by that, we tag the location or we pinpoint the location. And after that, one of the catheter, if you can see this, uh, this catheter, so we call it this ablation catheter. So it is almost like the other catheter, but it is having the uh, ability to deliver the radio frequency. So it is a very small catheter. So we will just put at that particular location and we give uh, a thermal burn which may which is used uh, which is almost painful it uh, painless so without pain the energy will be delivered at that particular locus and the arrhythmia is cured forever so this is called ep study and it is done it takes almost 45 minutes to so one hour depending upon the anatomy and the expertise of the uh, operator and uh, uh, and the Procedure may be uh, sometime done in the 2D and 3D, which we will discuss in the other videos. So, uh, this type of arrhythmias we have to evaluate if at all, other than the ECG, which is non invasive, the other is the EP study, which can establish or rule out whether the rhythm disorder is uh, substrate is uh, rhythm disorder substrate is there or not. Always there is a one question come around regarding the risk and benefit. So risk, it is one, uh, coming to the risk, it is one of the safest procedure in the cardiology and it is most of the time done electively. Means when we have, uh, we have detected the rhythm disorder, like if we are seeing that the ECG is having some abnormalities and we are knowing that probably this patient is having a rhythm disorder. So in that we conduct, we give the time, we ask the patient to come particular day electively admit. And then we conduct this uh, study and finally we label that this patient is having this rhythm disorder and cure it also. Risk point of view, uh, when the electrical normal and abnormal electrical activity are at very near the near uh, places. So when we are giving the ablation to the normal, if ab uh, abnormal, if normal get affected, 
then it may be that electrical problem may need a correction by putting a pacemaker. That is the worst complication of all this thing, which which most of the time is avoided. And we can say out of hundred patient, this type of complication develop in one percent of patient in a in a selected anatomy. Rest of the time, it is safest procedure, and there is no need of any contrast or contrast related problem, and it is a one of the painless procedures. So. Procedure wise, it is the safest procedure electively done for the rhythm disorder and when the and it is one of the curative treatment of arrhythmia. Thank you so much.